Hey, good to see you today. Thanks for tuning back in. We want to just continue and think about how we, as the body of Christ, can um, be committed to this little sharpening of our focus at Yosemite Church. Sharpening of our focus to meet people where they are and love them to where Christ wants them to be. I believe where He wants us to be. He wants us to be in community. That's every person in a group. Not just community, but a community that are on mission. Every person in a group and every group on mission. We've been talking about what that looks like. First of all, it looks like uh, open groups so others can join freely. And we're constantly looking for the person that needs to be in community with us. That's true. If you're in a small group, that's true. It shouldn't be us four and no more. It should be open. The second thing is open eyes to see the opportunities right in front of us to serve somebody. And maybe serving just starts with listening. Maybe loving just starts with listening. The third one is open-handed offering back to God. An open-handed offering back to God. And by that, I, means, I mean our hands. Our hands are open for service. Our life is open for service. Did you know the Bible says uh, in, in Hebrew, in Romans chapter 12, Verse 4, it says, Just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. It says something similar in 1 Peter chapter 4. He says, Love must, he says, Love one another deeply from the heart. Um, each one should use whatever gift he has received. To serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. Those are two powerful passages about the giftedness that God has bestowed on me. He's gifted me. I'm a my gifts. I don't care what they are. I'm an encourager. I'm a teacher. Um, I'm a leader. Those are my three top gifts. And when I'm exercising those gifts, I'm in my sweet spot. I'm just I I am I am doing what I do best teaching as an overflow of my life, encouraging at an overflow of my life, leading in the right direction. I want to use my gifts. I hope that you've been blessed by my gifts. What are yours? Because I want to be blessed by your gifts too. You see, as a body, you've got some gifts I don't have. I'm, I don't have the gift of administration. Um, I don't have um, the gift of maybe prayer. I do pray, but on the gift of prayer, the gift of faith, all those things are, are part of what you might have, the gift of hospitality. I choose to be hospitable, but it's not my natural gift. God wants you and I to recognize that our gifts are different, and when we employ those gifts together, we are better together. Whatever your gift is, if you don't know what it is, I guarantee you, if you're in a community of people for any time at all, and, and they turn and say, oh, you're good at, they may name your gift. The body of Christ is there to help affirm how God has gifted us. If there's some sense that you don't know what you're good at, then you're probably not connected well to a body of believers, to community. Because out of community, we identify our gifts, and within community, we mobilize those gifts. So, for your small group, what if it was open for newcomers at any time? What if in your life you had open eyes to see opportunities, to see where you could serve and how you could love and how you could listen to those around you and, and by doing so, serve the, the mission of Christ? What if this small group told stories about people you loved on that week and what if your small group was just regular at identifying and encouraging each other's giftedness and then helped each other plug in and begin to serve the body of Christ? You see, when that happens, here's what I guarantee you. When that happens, everyone in that small group will be on mission. Every person in a group and every group on mission Will you join us? Will you be a part? I hope so. Lord Jesus, open our eyes. Lord Jesus, open our groups. 
Lord Jesus, open our hands to simply offer ourselves back to you uh, as a living sacrifice, an offering pleasing, which is our reasonable act of worship. God, we offer ourselves back to you today within community to use our gifts for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you tomorrow.